so far. In front of us. here so today we're gonna talk over the importance of doing night raids and why you should do more night raids we're gonna start this video off by first initially going over the different types of night mission goggles you can use as well as where you should be raiding and how you should be raiding at night stay tuned all right so let's talk about night vision probably the most important thing with night raids is you have to be able to see whether that's with a flashlight or with nods and i would typically prefer to have nods we're going to start off with the cheapest and easiest stuff you could probably find are the N15s. The only problem with the N15s is that you have to use a skull crusher with it. Very, like you lose protection of the head, but some people that doesn't matter. Sometimes it's like the most affordable budget friendly thing. N15s, white foss, not, they're not too bad. You can see pretty well in these. So they're not exactly a horrible option. The only downside to having these though is just the skull crusher. All right, so after the N15s, we're gonna move on to the PVS14s. So these, you will need to have a helmet with a rhino mount place attachment for it. These on the other hand, single tube, you do lose limited vision, that green, green tint, green tint and night vision and it is clear. You can see pretty well with these. The only downside to it is, of course, you have limited visibility when using these nods. Now we switch over to, I believe it's called, it's called yeah, the PNV-10s. PNV-10s, dual tubed, very nice. It's also on the cheaper side. They are cheaper than the PVS-14s right now. So these are not a bad option for that. And then, of course... We switch over to the iconic, iconic quad nods. These are, of course, the best bang for your buck. Very, very pricey. If you can't afford these or have them locked, it's it's okay. Um, right now you can barter for them from Peacekeeper for a bottle of moonshine, or if you have Max Peacekeeper, I believe you can actually buy them off them for like I think thirteen hundred U.S. dollars or something around there. These are like my favorite, of course, because you can see the best out of them. They also look freaking sick. So that's that. And of course, the final set of thermal night vision are the T7s. Now, if you are watching this video and you can afford T7s, I, I think you need to click off the video because this video is not for you. If you can afford T7s at 17.3 million rubles, you, you don't need to watch this video, man. You got, you got your shit figured out already. You're asking yourself, why should I do night raids? There are three very important reasons why you should do night raids. Reason number one, there's less people at night. Always. You can, you can compare the, the daytime lobbies to the nighttime lobbies. There's always going to be less people in the nighttime lobbies. Reason two, because there's less people, means there's more to loot for you. That means you're going to come out thicker, more chattier. Make more profit off your runs. Use your time more wisely. And reason number three, because there's less people, means if you have a task to get done on that map that doesn't have to be done during the day for the task, you have a higher success rate of actually completing the task and not dying repeatedly and having to keep going back and losing gear and more of your precious time. But I go for these night raids. 100% go to reserve. Reserve is hands down the easiest to loot at night. There are two to three people in your lobbies at most. And on top of that, you can hit up pretty much any building you need to hit, and you can hear pretty much anybody you need to hear before you even go into the building, thanks to all the wood being in every building in the map. One thing to keep note of, though, when you're at reserve, is try to stay in the buildings. Most guys that go to reserve, if they're there to basically have a killing spree or have fun, they're going to bring a thermal, and being out in the open with that thermal is extremely dangerous. If you think that there's somebody up in the globe with the thermal, I would highly suggest hiding behind glass and peeking in it maybe every 5 to 10 minutes to make sure nobody's trying to take your head off while you're trying to have a loot spree. Where to go to on reserve? I do have a video posted on my channel that I'll put the link right here. I will be making a nighttime edition for this video in the near future. 
but that's gonna do it for today's video guys um if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe leave a comment down below if you found it helpful or if you guys have any other tips that you use on your night runs that make you guys more profitable or have a higher survivability on it i would really like to know i'm sure so everyone else would also as always guys take care of yourself eat good food go to the gym all that jazz you know live life i appreciate all the support you guys give me on this channel and as always peace